Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna share a little bit about why we love math in our homeschool. So if you are new around here, we have used teaching textbooks for a very long time and we are big fans. Teaching Textbooks is an award-winning homeschool digital math course that's beyond open and go. Not only does it eliminate the need for lesson plans, but it also is available on any device, anytime, anywhere, even offline. As a parent, you have access to the digital gradebook at any time. Lessons are graded instantly for you, and you'll also receive daily email updates showing your children's grades as they complete each lesson so that you're kept up to date and can catch anything necessary as it happens. Taking it a step further, when you log into your parent portal, you can see how many attempts your student made at each solution, whether or not they viewed the solution, and whether or not they used a hint. You can also change your student settings from your parent portal, such as their hints, second chances, wallpaper settings, and scratch pad settings. Teaching textbooks provide step-by-step -step audio visual solutions for every single problem, and one really great thing that we haven't really had to take much advantage of lately, but I love the option for me as a parent, is that they offer tutoring on a helpline for any customer that needs extra help. Teaching textbooks equips parents with all the information they need to keep an eye on their students' progress while allowing the students to confidently complete lessons on their own. My kids all have really different learning styles and preferences, so teaching textbooks been a hit with each of them for different reasons. They've each customized their experiences with wallpapers, sounds, and sticker settings that feel just right, and anytime we need to slow down or take a break, their digital course can be paused to fit our lifestyle. So we can pause for a minimum of a week at a time, up to three months per course, Course, and it gives us the flexibility we need to keep the pressure at bay. Sometimes I just have to tell my kids, hey guys, we're going to pause this for a week. We're going to work on this specific, um, you know, habit, whether it's running through multiplication tables or um, practicing a concept over and over and over again, and then we'll go back to your lesson. So sometimes they just need that pressure relief of we're just going to press pause for a week and it's not going to affect your course time at all. Teaching textbooks is approachable, it's not intimidating, and it's the reason that I believe that we are a math-loving family because I will say that if it was up to me and the way that I teach, my kids probably would not love math. <laughs> but don't just take my word for it, I have recruited my kids to tell you their favorite things about teaching textbooks 4.0 and they had a lot to say. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys some questions about teaching textbooks, some this or that questions. So like, do you like this better or that better? And if it's not a feature that you have on your teaching textbooks anymore, or if it's not a feature that you have yet, just answer based on if you enjoyed it most then, or if you're looking forward to using it. Cause I know like Eli, Bella has some things that you don't have yet, but I know that you've seen it on hers. You know what I mean? Okay, so don't show each other your answers. Wait, and then I'll count one, two, three for you guys to show me your answers, all right? Do you like funny stickers, one, or food stickers, two, better? Write one or two. Do you like funny stickers or food stickers better? Ready? You guys looked in my Three, <laughs> two, one, show me your answers. You all like food stickers better. It's encouraging when you're doing a lesson we're like, I'm gonna eat lunch soon. <laughs> oh, if you're doing a lesson before lunch. All right, are we ready for the next question? Yes. Do you like, don't look at each other's, do you like buddy sounds or to turn the sounds off? One for sounds or two for no sounds? Three, two, one, show me your answers. You like sounds, Eli? Why? You just like it? It's not too distracting? Jesse, Bella, why do you guys like your sounds off? I don't know. I think I'm like super in the zone. Like, if it's like off. Yeah. Sometimes I would like it on though when I used to have buddies. Yeah, when you. Because it's not too distracting. It's not too distracting when it's off. It's just still fun to have it, but then not have it make noise. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So for this next one, write one if you prefer hints, or two, if you prefer second chances. Um, Ready? One for hints, or two for second chances. Ready? Oh, ready. ready, Eli? Oh, no. One, two, three, show me your answers. Oh, you all like second chances better? Yeah. yeah. Why? Um, you guys can say. Yeah, I don't like using hints. 
Why it's not? a second chance. I just never you chance. just like a second, second chance. chance. If I don't, I like second chances because sometimes I like to like try to outsmart things and do it without it. Oh, try to, do, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I get that. Yeah. All right, so you boys might not have this yet. Bella does, but you've seen it on hers, I'm sure. Do you like number one, a still wallpaper, or number two, a moving wallpaper? Ready? Three, two, one. Show me your answer. Okay, so Bella, you like a still wallpaper. Jesse, you like a still wallpaper. Eli, you like the ones that move. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the moving ones? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite one? Um, I've only seen one. Which one? Um, the flower one. Oh, and they like move. Like, do they just like kind of move back and forth? Like, yeah, kind of like wind blowing it, or like if there's a bug in the picture, it'll like fly by. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. All right, erase. Ready? The next one, I think I might know your answer, but I'm not completely sure. Okay. All right. Number one, do you like bonus rounds better, or did you like bonus rounds better? Or number two, quizzes? Oh, one for hard. bonus rounds, two for quizzes. Three, two, one. Show me your answer. I don't know. Oh, okay. So Eli, why do you like quizzes better? Um, because <clears throat> there's no lecture. Because there's no lecture. Oh, the bonus round comes after a lecture. True. Okay, Jesse, why do you like bonus rounds better? Well, I don't do bonus rounds anymore, but they were really fun. Yeah. You also get higher grades. You do? It does help oh, your yeah. score. Extra percent. Bella, why did you like bonus rounds better? Oh, I really like trying to beat it. Just like. trying. I know everyone with bonus rounds usually calls the siblings in and then everyone's like jumping around like three, <laughs> two, one. All right, ready for the next one? Do you prefer the practice or the lecture? One for practice, Two for lecture. Do you prefer the practice questions or do you prefer the lecture? Three, two, one. Flip it around. You guys all like the practice better? How come? It's relieving when you get it wrong. When you get it wrong because it doesn't go to your grade. Yeah. Wait, what? And then like you can... Um, you didn't know that, Eli? <laughs> and then you can like watch the answer and... You can get it right when you actually like are doing the problems. Oh, cool. Okay. Do you prefer number one, the digital scratch pad, or number two, writing on real paper? So digital scratch pad, number one, or writing on paper, number two. Wait, what? You know the digital scratch pad where you can like... Or on the iPad, yeah. Do you like writing on the iPad, or do you like writing on paper to solve your problems? So one for digital, or two, like one for scratch pad or two for using notebook paper. Ready, set, go. You guys all like the scratch pad better? Yeah. Why? I just like it. It's easier to like erase and like easier to use. And you can just like go to it. It's already on there. It's already there. You don't have to find anything extra. Eli, what about you? Um, Unless it's printed. It's easier to like erase everything. Do you yeah. like it better that we can pause your subscription for a week or two at a time? Or do you like it better that you can take math with you like to the dance studio or when we're in the car? So number one, do you like that you can pause? Or number two, do you like that we can take it places with us? Three, two, one. Both. <laughs> Eli, you like them both, mm -hmm. one and two. Bella, why do you like that we can take it with us better? Oh, it just like, I like, I don't know. Just There's like, less pressure to get school done during the day, I and mean, you know you can take it with you to like your sister's dance or something. True. Jesse, what about you? Why do you I'm like it? Just because it, it takes pressure off of your school day every day? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and then this one is not a one or two question, and you don't have to write this down, but I just want to hear from each of you. Why do you love teaching textbooks. You don't have to write it down, just tell me. What, what, like, what are your favorite things about teaching textbooks? Um, well, I like, I loved the bonus rounds. That was always fun, because it's like, 
you, it helps you learn at an exciting, yeah, an exciting pace and it's exciting stuff. And um, it's a digital math, so you can like when you complete something, it shows you like, congrats. <laughs> it's, it's like instant the, feedback. Yeah, it's oh, not on yeah. the paper. So yeah. You write it down on like, paper. Can you please grade this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else? What do you guys like? Oh, I like how on the lectures it like shows you what to do without just like reading something. Cause that way it's like, it's like showing to you, you can't really get distracted if it's talking to you. And you can see like the problems going on as it's being explained. Yeah, so it's like being explained in real time instead of just reading it. Yeah. What about you, Eli? What are some of your favorite stickers and buddies? <laughs> you just like it cause it's fun. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. <laughs> So thank you, Bella, Jesse, and Eli for helping me with today's video. Thank you, Teaching Textbooks, for partnering with me on this video. If you guys would like to try Teaching Textbooks for yourself, I will put a link below to the free trial. With this free trial, you can try the first 15 lessons of any course of your choice without a time limit. And if you choose to continue the course and purchase it after your trial is over, after you've done all 15 lessons, those 15 lessons transfer into your student's course so they didn't lose all their work from those first lessons. So you can try out multiple different levels and courses and it is a free trial, completely free. So the information for that is in the description box down below. Thank you so much Teaching Textbooks for partnering with me and also thank you for being a curriculum that has helped us become a math lover family.